Good morning, good morning. We needed some more light here this morning. It's 24. That's a balmy 24. Okay. Actually, I don't need those, do I? Yesterday, I made a plan forward for the rest because I'm only going to do um, five more days and then I'll have a couple like in between our days happening um, and that's the way every month is going to go for the time being um, just because I'm shortening the length of time I have to do a project and then also incorporating every things and other things in every month and a little variety because you know I mean I do it by the end of the month I'm bored with this project you're bored with watching it theoretically and it just doesn't make it quite as long and for whatever reason I have to do a project for a month I don't know why it's just I, I might be a little bit type a when it comes to that stuff might okay so today we're doing um, city mouse, country mouse. Now, I could have easily gotten a country scene and a magazine out of a magazine and a city scene because I said I wanted to do landscape, farm, city, ears, peach color, panatone. Color of the year is fuzzy peach. And then the word mouse in my wording. But That's, that's, that's a really super easy way to do it. And I, I want it to still stick to the abstract sort of thing. So I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it. And I might just put you on fast forward because I'm really not sure how I'm going to do this. Well, I really never have, I don't know why I'm cutting this out. <laughs> oh, well, I really never have a plan. I don't like to do that, but I do have peachy, sort of. So maybe we can just use this as the background. Oh, what size paper? It doesn't really matter what size paper I'm using or is available next. Because I can do whatever I want. Okay. I might just do a little one because I don't want them all the same size. And they're getting close to all the same size. So because it's for mice and it's little, let's let's do little. So I'm gonna fast forward now. So I do have the Panatone color of the year, which is fuzzy peach. Um, my way, a little sloppy. Um, some parts of my peach are riper than others, um, but that's okay. That 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 was fun. Yes, I had thought about that too, Curti. I swear to Lord. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord knows what we are connected. Um, Curti lives thousands of miles away from me in one of my dream landscapes. But she's in different parts of the world quite often. And we connect on so many levels, it's not even funny. She's been here the longest. She was here when I had a quilting YouTube channel that didn't last very long. And I was going to stop and she encouraged me to keep going. So... We owe all of our pink Panatone charm to her. So if there is charm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just blabbering. So I kind of mushed all those colors together enough, pushed the yellow back enough that it's really looking like fuzzy peach. Um, the Panatone color of the year and or the cover, color of the background in that um, children's book page cover. So sometimes, sometimes you just have fun. And I, yesterday was fun with my pig snouts and oink, oink. But um, I don't like to be too serious all the time. I do journals that are much more serious. Um, but sometimes when you're doing an abstract, it's fun. Okay, here's a Thanksgiving Day Parade picture that I took in 94. Mm, and I'm looking for pink pieces of paper um, and that's a Macy's, um, parade, Thanksgiving Day Parade picture. And then I found a business card from Natalie Bradford, who I've followed on Instagram for quite a while and have ordered stuff from. 
ephemera bits. And um, it had a kind of a country feel th to it. And then I pick picked out some cats because who chases mice but cats. And, and just kind of flipping through stuff, seeing what strikes my eye in the pink direction or fuzzy peach rather direction or a pink direction that paper I've had for a hundred years I'm going to use it get newsflash and it just felt good to use up a couple a couple really old things here's the back of some of these business cards um and it was just it's a it's a, I was thinking about a way to bring the country and the city together without being too obvious so I had those all in my hand I even ripped them up um or cut them up thinking I wanted more of a country end on this one and then a country end on that one and the M Macy's picture on the other side of the city buildings. I'm like, no, no, we're still thinking abstract here. This is not abstract anymore. Um, so then I thought, okay, maybe I can cover up parts of it with pieces of paper. Um, can the cats go in somehow? I even put things a little smaller. Um, just trying to have the opposites attract of the the pull from the city to this to the country um which the mice had and then the little pieces of paper that are pink with black lines on them are just stamped then i thought about putting the pictures underneath and having something flip off of it like a, a an attachment somehow like that's not abstract enough either nor does it go with the rest of the theme of the journal could i have done it yes glad I didn't yes I'm sticking to the abstractness of it and the theme of the whole entire journal before I get off kilter here at the very end um, and when I say the very end I think we have four more days now of this journal and then I'm going to splice in some other stuff uh, at the end but just to give me a little variety also and not make my month-long projects a month long because I kind of get bored at the end this might be what's happening here. I'm kind of getting bored, even though I've had a blast in this journal. Um, I, I'm kind of like, okay, I kind of found my way, in my opinion, through abstract my way and how it can now influence painting or something else. So I got a flow of some fluorescent pink paper and I'm going to use this as the word and I'm going to just put mouse and then layer some of that pink stuff on top of it and the black the pieces with the black and black lines through them kind of like remind me of a city map um but the way i did it at the end is different than what i've done already but it still works with this one and i added architecture and landscape i know hold your hold on hold on so i'm trying to find a black pen and in the end i think i used something else no yeah, I use several layers on this wording, um, starting with red pencil and just just sticking to the abstract theme, but and sticking to the rules I gave myself um, and just a little bit more, not, not loose, because I think I, I constrained myself a little bit on this one as much as I want to be constrained, but, um, oh, football last night was good, good, good. Um, although the poor guy from Novato, my hometown, who was the quarterback on the Detroit Lions, they lost. It broke my heart because I would have loved to have seen him go play San Francisco, which was going to be the next team because he's from across the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I don't know if he still has family there or not, but, um, he grew, he was born in my town. Um, well, I don't think he was born there because I don't know if there's a hospital there that delivers babies. But he was born, he grew up where I grew up, but he went to a Catholic school down where I used to work. Um, so Derek Goff. And that was really kind of cool. I kind of wanted him to play the, the 49ers because he went to Berkeley. Um, I didn't even know Berkeley. Ber I guess I knew Ber Berkeley had a football team, but it's not. They're academic people. But anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. So that's his entire, you know, growing up youth was in the bay area and it would be cool for him to play the 49ers but i knew they wouldn't he would not win against the 49ers i think but 
Anyhow, and Kansas City won at the last minute too. So it's Kansas City, Buffalo. No, Buffalo's out now. Kansas City, uh, the Ravens, the 49ers, and somebody else. Hmm. Anyhow, anyhow, we're not talking football here. So now I have all my layers done. And I kind of want to make more layers on top of the word mouse. Um, and just kind of emphasize what's there. Not distract from it, not um, add to it anymore. Just emphasize what's there. But still in the back of my mind, it's getting to me that there's no contrast of city and country. So then here comes the country in the shape of a flower. It's very scratchy, very urban sketching type, um, and very barely visible. But there's a house, very scratchy, very, very barely there. And there's city, and then the flower is the country. That was enough contrast for me, and it just added stuff in the background underneath that you may not even understand when you look at it unless you watch this video but um that's that's that was what i was achieving trying to achieve on this one and having a blast love how this turned out love it um then i'm like okay now when i go to put it in the journal i have a lot of white space so i got that piece of scrapbook paper out that came from a um six by six pad that i've had for years i mean 20 years probably and it is the same colors, fuzzy peach, panatone color. And um, it just gives a base for this to sit on without it being a plain white piece of paper. Because it would have been okay. And I'm like, ugh. But then I have that. So I just ripped it in half and put it on top. And I love how this turned out. I didn't even shrink the size of the paper. I was going to. But it sticks off enough. And it still is in a large cover. So that works for me too. And... It looks great with the pigs next door. There's some country too, I guess. Love how this turned out. Love. So just go with your gut, people. Go with your gut. It works great. Um, anyhow, I appreciate you all watching here every day, all your great comments. And there was a tiny white spot there. Couldn't have that. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow with Little Women. Hmm. We shall see. So thanks for watching. Talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.